from Attraction Marketing and I'm here with PJ Patterson from IFBF. He's the chairman and we're here at the FBAA conference and it's been awesome so far. Welcome. Nice to be here. I agree. It has been an awesome conference. I've already learned massive amounts even in the couple of hours we've already had speakers so it's, it is great to be here and the weather's perfect as well. Yeah. So I wanted to ask PJ a few questions. What makes IFBF different to the other associations? Sure. So as I like mentioned, I am the chairman of the IFBF and I think we really dovetail nicely with both the FBAA and the MFAA because first of all we meet monthly. So our programming is the last Friday of every month except for December and January and it gives brokers an opportunity to get out of the office a bit more to go and get CPD points, to hear uh, some wonderful speakers. Our, our programming is great around industry topics, around topics such as marketing um, and other things maybe that the professional organizations like MFAA, FBAA wouldn't necessarily cover. So uh, I think it's, it's a great opportunity for brokers every month to get out and do CPD and do uh, a bit of networking and meet you know, our sponsors and other people that are involved in the organization. Um, I've been to quite a few of the sessions myself and I've noticed the really amazing part of it is that you want to help brokers improve their business and actually add different revenue streams. So tell me a little bit more about that diversification kind of education that you provide. Sure, sure. So uh, I know Stephen Dinty, who's uh, uh, the godfather of the, of the IFBF, um, talked a lot about what the other things we do, which is education and compliance. And he mentioned and touched on diversification, but that is a huge part of what we do. Uh, I'm a practicing mortgage broker. I'm also a financial planner and real estate agent. I wear a lot of hats in my business. And I realized about 10 years ago that really to uh, thrive and really grow uh, a serious financial services business, you did need to diversify. So within the IFBF, the last couple of years, we have really heavily focused on um, teaching brokers and getting them to understand that they need to develop other avenues for revenue in their business. And a lot of our sponsors uh, that uh, are now part of our organization are actually businesses that are maybe on the periphery of financial services. So for example, we have a uh, car buying service that's one of our, our sponsors. And so we're really just trying to get brokers to understand that they shouldn't have that narrow tunnel vision of I'm just going to write a mortgage. Uh, and unfortunately, many in our industry just even focus on resi mortgages, that there's a whole other world uh, out there available to them from their own client base. So they don't, uh, well, I, I think they shouldn't, I shouldn't say they don't, they shouldn't just focus on the mortgage. They should think about all the other possible revenue streams that are available and try to tap into that. Mm -hmm. I'm a big advocate of helping your existing clients um, even more. So I think that's a really great thing to focus on. Um, so, with your sponsors, what kind of other sponsors do you have at the moment? Sure. Well, we have sponsors that uh, support the industry through technology they provide. So, BrokerPad is one of our, our key sponsors. Uh, I use their technology, love it. Uh, we have, um, as I mentioned, a car buying service. We have uh, financial planning um, diversification opportunities. We've got a property buyer in there. We have a few of the um, uh, short term, not short term, the um, business lender, uh, small business lending not unsecured lenders in there. Uh, so we really have a diverse range of, as I said, ancillary financial services related businesses that uh, brokers, I think, need to engage with to see how they could either outsource something perhaps to drive efficiency or just even refer a client to, to make that client uh, view them as that trusted advisor, that person that they actually want to call to get an answer to a question. So it could be, um, PJ, I, you know, we, we want to buy a new car, how could we do that? Um, and if, if I'm smart, I'll go, well, here's my buyer's agent for car buying, but I'll also say, uh, can I organize some finance for you at, at the same time? So I want my clients to, to come to me. Exactly. And when you think about um, the know your client rule, the more you get to know them, the more you know what other services they need, for example, insurance or if they want to buy an investment property. And it all ties in with what the broker is offering. So it ties in really nicely. Absolutely. I think know your client, it's a, it's a great way to look at it. Uh, and the more you know your client, as you say, the more you'll be able to offer them additional, um, uh, additional services. And it may not necessarily be that broker that's going to provide the service within their network of people. And this is one of the things that we pride ourselves at the IFBF is that we are a networking group. And we want people to make connections. And we want them to be interconnected. And so we want those brokers to be able to say within the group, um, 
I might refer this client to PJ because he can do the financial planning, he can do the insurance side. I'm going to refer this client to another person within the organization. Still with the integrity around who owns the client, obviously that initial broker, but just enhancing the value proposition. That's what we're all about is showing brokers that they must enhance their value proposition in order, I think, to be sustainable in this industry and to grow their business uh, long term. Sounds amazing. Um, so in terms of what's coming up next year, I know I've been running some of the marketing workshops. What do, what do the members have in store for 2018? Uh, and you'll be doing a great job with that, by the way. We are going to have you back, so thank you for doing that this past year. Uh, we haven't really set our programming agenda just yet, but there's a few things that I certainly want to drive, and marketing is, is a big thing. Uh, we heard from Mark Blundell today uh, uh, here at the FBAA conference, and he's fantastic in, in driving the passion around digital marketing. And that is an area I think a lot of brokerage firms, uh, for whatever reason, it could just be uh, fear, it could be lack of uh, where to start, but they haven't driven into that. So um, th that'll certainly be an area that we, that we get more heavily involved in. Also, today we had a fantastic presentation from Lisa Montgomery, um, really talking about um, balance in your life. And I think, I think one of the underlying things that I've always known the IFBF does is provide that camaraderie, that uh, fraternity, for mortgage brokers so that if somebody was having a bad time or they needed to vent some frustration, um, and I've had those phone calls, I've, I've been on both the receiving and the giving end of that frustration around our industry, but to, to let everyone know and let it be out there that the IFBF is a safe place where people can actually come and say, I'm having a bad day, I'm having a bad month, I'm having a bad year, I need some help, and to actually have their peers um, you know, support them and make sure that they, they know, you know we're, we got your back, we're here for you. That's the other thing that I noticed is the steering committee of the IFBF, every single one of them is an actual mentor as well. So they've got that extra support. Yeah, yeah, we are, we are mentors to a lot of people in the group and absolutely love to fulfill that role. Well, thank you very much. My pleasure. Nice to be here. Thank you. Thank you.